Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim, taking a quick look at the respawn rates for a few of the important resources when it comes to food, being thistles, mushrooms, raspberries, and blueberries. Unfortunately, you cannot grow any of these manually in a garden, and they can be sometimes annoying to find out in the open world. This means when you come across a decent patch of these resources in the world, it can be a good idea to mark it on your map. I took the time to sit down and record the respawn rates for these different items, and I've come to the conclusion that thistles and mushrooms respawn every 4 hours, while blueberries and raspberries will respawn in 5 hours. Given that the game has a 21 minute day cycle and a 9 minute night cycle, meaning from the moment you reach day 8, you have 30 minutes until day 9 comes. So it will take 8 in-game days for a mushroom or a thistle to respawn, and 10 in-game days for a blueberry or a raspberry to respawn. So if you're looking to maximize your food production and revisit the same group of mushrooms or section of berry bushes that happen to spawn with a large amount in the same spot, then keep an eye on your day ticker and head out there every 8 to 10 days depending on what resource you're looking to get. An alternative to keep an eye on their respawn times is to paste down a basic wooden torch. Every fuel for a wooden torch burns for 2 hours and 45 minutes. So if you have 2 resin inside of one of these torches and just have it be a torch timer, once it burns out, 5.5 hours in game will have passed. And although this is a little bit longer than the 4 hour or the 5 hour respawn timers, once the fire on the torch burns out, it will alert you that all of the berries, mushrooms, and thistles are ready to be harvested again. Making it to where you don't have to go and check on them all the time, and only need to head out to gather them whenever the torch burns out. Once they're gathered, throw 2 more resin in it, rinse and repeat. Hopefully this information is helpful to you and lets you get a better idea of when you should be heading out to gather the same berries or mushrooms and gives you more reason to mark good locations on your map that hold a large number of these items in the same area. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.